Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look at a little bit of magic here. And it's a bit like if, if you're a physicist, the one thing that you know, may well wind you up, confuse you or whatever, is quantum physics, quantum mechanics. Because the rules just don't seem to apply there. So in, in photography, you need photo editing. That's an equivalent is the LAB color space which is just weird. It's not like RGB or even CMYK. It's a thing in itself. So let's have a look at using it and the secrets of making it work for you. So if I go to adjustments here and curves, and I'm going to go to LAB down here. First thing you might notice, though the RGB color you know, histograms like this, this one looks rather odd. But it changes, first of all, when we've got the lightness one. This looks more you know, familiar. And because this now adjusts only the, the lightness across the picture, nothing to do with colour, then this will... You can play around this in a normal sort of way. You, know, you can brighten things up. You can increase the shadows and so on. I'm going to reset this because I'm going to look more at just colours. So we don't have this the contrast effect here so that we can see exactly what's happening colour-wise by doing a sort of quick before and after. So I'm going to go to the A opponent channel. And its funny name it comes from opponent process model, which is things to do with how the eye works. So this is all like biology stuff too. But if I take one end here and drag this up, look what happens. We go magenta. And if I go the other way, in other words, below the, the, the diagonal, you get green. It's not a harsh green, but it's a, it's a green. And uh, the other end, same effect, above the line, magenta, below the line, is going more green. So what can we do about this? Because if we start playing with ordinary curves, you're immediately start throwing a colour cast into it. But it can be good for removing colour casts, but the thing to do here, and this is the central trick, is you put a point in the middle there, which anchors that point, and that stops a colour cast happening into it. Now we can move things around here, and this now has, look at the subtle changes that we're making to the picture now. So you can play with this to our heart's content. The classic things to do is to take the endpoints and drag them in. And watch what's happening here. Look at, the, see, there's some bits, see the shut of the building, the, red, the roofs, the reds are kind of getting more. Because what, because what we're doing here is we're steepening the line, so we're increasing the contrast. So you can do the same the other side, almost to make this a straight line. And but then you can grab points within this and drag this around the place to have a, a variation on those things to whatever effect you want to get within this. Let's do a before and after. So before, after, very subtle little differences, hardly noticeable sometimes which means you might want to give it a little bit more tweak somewhere. Look at the effects you want to have. What I can do with this as well, I'm going to reset this and put a, that point back in the middle, is you can grab points within the curve by using the picker. So I go to the picker here and say, let's take the red of this door here. So where's that point? So this point is appearing now on this curve for that. So now I'm having a particular effect towards that colour more and seeing the effects here. So you can play with it this kind of way as well. You can also see, well, does this effect bring this out more? Is this going to be helpful? Just look at what happens. And do this. To get rid of points on the curve, by the way, you right click. Then let's go to the other one, B opponent. And again, same thing, but if we just have a look at this, if we go upwards, Going above the curve is yellow, so not a harsh yellow, but uh, you know, it's yellow. And to the right, it's more blue. So below the curve is blue, above the curve is yellow. So let's anchor our middle point and play with the things here. In fact, what we'll do is let's go to the picker, take the sky, where's that? And see, it's just below the middle there. So if so I pull that down, look, I'm affecting the sky. See the way it's affecting the whole picture? But the sky gets it in particular, so here's a way, instant way of, of fixing skies. This is curved up here, so I might bring this across a bit and 
pull this down a bit or even let's turn this off let's show something here because I'm going to go down here so below the curve is blue so it's it's away from yellow look at the wheels of the carriage here I pull that all the way down the wheel the yellow's gone yeah now I put it back up and there's the wheel so I'm affecting individual colors without using any masking which can make this really interesting I'm going the other way you get more of an effect that's accentuated so there we go we could go on this forever play around with it secret is lab in curves and we use the lightness for just straight contrast uh, effects and the a opponent and b opponent anchor the center point and then start playing there we go hope that was fun and thank you very much for watching